try talking to see if we yes. can hear? Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. So Sorry about that. I was on a call. Apologies. Okay, no problem. Let's start the hearing then. Um, I'll just give a brief introduction. Um, my name is Myra Lima, and I will be serving as the administrative hearing officer today. Uh, it is February 22nd, 2024, um, and this is an administrative hearing for Salt Lake City Planning Division. The administrative hearing is authorized by the Salt Lake City Code to hear land use applications that are eligible for administrative approval and require public hearing. Uh, tonight we have one item on the agenda. The item is for conditional use for an antenna. The item will start with a presentation by the planning staff, and then it will be followed by the applicant if they choose to provide additional information. Then I will open the public hearing for anyone wishing to provide input. And after the public hearing, I, as the hearing officer, will make a decision on the matter. Um, I must disclose that in reviewing conditional uses, the scope of my decision is limited to whether the proposal complies with the standards of approval and if there are any detrimental impacts. If those impacts can be reduced by imposing conditions, I am obligated by the state of Utah and city ordinance to approve the petition. So we'll move on to our only item, which is PLN PCM 2023-00966. Six, and the planner is Megan. Go for it, Megan. Megan, it looks like you're muted still right now. Apologize, I will start over. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you, yeah. sorry. Okay, perfect. Okay, so. Okay, so this is a conditional use for an administrative hearing for the South and Rear Monopole. The project details the petitioner, Dakota Hawks, with TAEC is seeking approval for a 100 foot monopole and its related equipment at 421 Jonklin Road. The proposed construction site falls under the M1 zoning district, which mandates that monopoles over 60 feet require conditional use approval. And the review will be conducted by the administrating hearing officer as a wireless telecommunication facility. So here is the vicinity and zoning map. This is in the M1 zoning district. Um, it's in the um, area approximately I-80 and 5600 West. Here are some site photos. Um, the Megan, sub yes. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm still on the first slide. Okay. I don't know why that's occurring. Let me try something else. Oh, it moved now. So it moved now. Now I have mm -hmm. the site photos. Sorry, Dakota, I'm just going to use you as, <laughs> do, are you seeing this? Are you having the same issue? Is it not moving or yeah. is it? Okay. Yeah. Right. I was on the title screen. Yeah. Okay. We're going to try this again. Okay. I'm going to move. Did it move? Uh, it's on the site photos, but it's still, it's not a slideshow. Is the, out the, what is it called? PowerPoint format. Okay. Okay. Does that work? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right. Um, so I went over the project details and um, again, for reference, here is the zoning map. It is surrounded by M1, um, and it's in the area approximately 5600 West and I-80. 
your site photos. Are you guys seeing these now? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So the top left is the subject property and the proposed location of the monopole is behind the building, um, which is access from um, Jonglin Road. To the rear of the subject property is vacant land. Um, to the west is Amazon. And adjacent is the Bureau of Land Management. And south is the Albany Engineering Composites. So some key considerations for the requests are how the proposal helps implement city goals, compliance with the zoning requirements, and compliance with the conditional use standards. So for Plant Salt Lake, the proposed construction of the monopole in the area aligns with Plant Salt Lake's sustainable development and growth vision to improve wireless services in the neighborhood and area, and the project supports um, sustainability, job creation, industrial growth, while minimizing the environmental impact because it's on an existing site. Um, it also is um, complies with the Northwest Master Plan. Um, it's designated as light industrial on the future land use map, and the Northwest Quadrant Master Plan emphasizes the need for new infrastructure to develop the area while protecting the natural areas. Um, this is something that me and the applicant talked about, um, but as per FAA regulations for structures under 200 feet, does not require any lighting. Um, his final drawings will be submitted to NEPA for evaluation of the migratory bird patterns, and the staff believes the existing review process will address any environmental impact and no conditions are recommended. Um, it is consistent with the M1 zoning district and will not significantly impact the surrounding air, water quality, or transportation. Um, as I mentioned before, improved telecommunication will support economic growth and the jobs in the area. Um, I did complete a zoning review. And it, um, if this is approved, the applicant will comply with all regulations when obtaining a building permit. And it is also in compliance with the conditional use um, standards and the um, standards, the detrimental effects, and the antenna regulations are included as attachments in the staff report. Um, we are recommending um, approval um, that the administrative hearing officer approve the proposal um, applying with all applicable regulations and no conditions are recommended. Okay. Thanks, Megan. You're welcome. Uh, Dakota, do you um, would like to add anything? Do you have a presentation? Um, I don't have a lot to add. Thank you, Megan, for uh, an in-depth look into the project. Um, the biggest thing for us is the expansion of Amazon and all the manufacturing groups in that area um, have put a lot of burden on our network. Um, we do have some sites closer to the airport, but as the airport's grown, um, those sites kind of get overwhelmed and this will be a supplement to those sites as well as servicing all the new Amazon expansion and all the future uh, manufacturing that's going to be I would assume um, installed in the to the west of that building. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to keep our customers happy while um, better servicing first responders and everybody in that area. So that was the general reason behind this site location and I'm happy to take any questions you guys may have. Okay. Um, so I think we're done with the presentation portion. I'm just gonna um, open the public hearing um, and I do see that there is no other attendees other than us. So I am going to go ahead and close the public hearing. Um, and I do not have any questions. I think everything has been addressed in the staff report and I appreciate your um, inf additional information, Dakota. Um, I will go ahead and make the following decision. Based on the information presented in discussion, I approve petition PLN PCM 2023-00966 and grant a conditional use permit for a 100 foot tall monopole at 421 John Glenn Road. And you uh, can communicate with Megan after this meeting um, for your record of decision and pursuing your permit. Great, thank you very much. All right, thank you. And that's it for the night.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you, you too. Bye.